The fourth and final part of this video or project, whatever you want to call it, is more reflective. What advice would you give your past self prior to starting nursing school? Listen to your inner voice. It's, yeah, listen to your inner voice. It's going to tell you not to hang out with friends and you need to listen to it. Don't procrastinate. Don't push assignments off. Be ready to put in the work and lose all, I don't know, lose like your socializing and sleep. <laughs> to find a good group, like find your friends that are going to help you study and help you make it through. Do not procrastinate and be very good at scheduling. Uh, definitely time management. That's probably a big thing. That it's going to be all right. You will get into the nursing program and you will finish it. And it doesn't matter if you don't make all A's, you will pass and you will get a job in your dream specialty. Stop making it hard for yourself. Um, stay on top of your shit, pretty much. Always do assignments on time. I have too many citations and try not to get any citations. To get out of my comfort zone a little faster. Um, I think I was in my comfort zone for a little too long, but now that I've gotten out of it, I've met a lot of friends and uh, I really wish I had met them sooner and maybe I would have, I wish I could have gotten closer to my cohort faster. Make sure you hammer in the fundamentals every, and pay extra close attention to the patho class because patho really helps you study. Manage your time efficiently because I feel like I wasted so much time on things that really did not take that much effort out of me. Don't stress. <laughs> I would definitely have to say get on a prophylactic dose of antidepressants and if that doesn't work just run. One, to stay in school. I sat out of school for three years. Um, I would probably pay more attention to like academic advising and stuff because it took me a long time to graduate. Um, and maybe not to put so much pressure on myself. I think I put a lot of pressure on myself so just to kind of take it easy. You do have to study a ton, but you make your best friends in nursing school. Ooh, maybe take microbiology before the T's. Don't stress yourself out and let the little stuff slide, like decrease all the anxiety because it's not worth it. <laughs> take every day, day by day, kind of enjoy your time with everyone and kind of absorb as much as you can before you graduate. Believe in yourself because if other people can do it, you can do it too. Don't sweat the small stuff and pick your battles. Just to trust yourself and believe that you can do it. Um, everyone makes it seem to be so hard, but you can do it. To have more fun on the weekends. To not study every weekend. It's always nice to have to-do lists and you want to plan everything. And with nursing school, that you have to be prepared and be flexible, that's for sure. Definitely time management. Don't be so scared. It's not as bad as everyone tells you it is. Don't stress out as much as you have been. Like, school's hard. Just keep moving forward and don't hold yourself back from anything. I guess just uh, work hard. Um, one thing I learned last semester is you need to study everything because if you think, um, you know, this one little section isn't going to be on the exam, uh, or like one question won't cost you, it will cost you. Um. It's a journey, it's definitely a journey. You have to take it one step at a time, um, take it day by day, and don't overstress or overthink it because you're gonna get through it. You can't control every situation. Perfection isn't something that you need to achieve. Just try your best and you got it. I don't take everything as it is. Um, they, the professors are there to help. Don't take everything that you hear from somebody above you and uh, just kind of go in with an open mind. Everything will work out the way it's supposed to. I think I would have been able to decrease my anxiety in that way. To take it at your own pace and not listen to other people and let them stress you out because it's not as hard as you think. Take a chill pill. <laughs> I would say not to worry about the future and that everything's going to work out how it's supposed to. Stop procrastinating. Don't procrastinate. It's just a test and don't freak out over it. And if you don't do well, it's not the end of the world. I would say meet as many people as you can and make connections because that's how you get jobs. That's how you get your foot in the door at places. There's no timeline to finish anything. Not be so stressed and worried. You're smart, don't compare yourself to other people, and be more confident. 
<laughs> Learn how to time manage, girlfriend. Um, you gotta get it together sometime. Learn more in fundamentals. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and why do you want to be a nurse? Why are we all here? What's up with that? I had kind of medical stuff happen to me as a teenager. <clears throat> And I really wanted to kind of give back to the nurses who got me through that experience, and they really inspired me. I've always wanted to help people. That's always been my main uh, thought ever since I can remember, is that I just want a job where I can help people and feel fulfilled doing so. This job is like so secure. Like I feel like if there was like a natural disaster to happen, I would be in a good position because they always want nurses. <laughs> I want to be a nurse, honestly, for job security. So, I'm first generation American and college student, so I didn't want to major in something stupid like history. <laughs> so I wanted job stability, good income, and opportunities. And I guess nursing was it. Really one of the biggest inspirations for me is to help as many people as possible. So. Help um, minority mothers, the birthing outcomes in Georgia and America in general are horrible. So I wanted, to, I wanted to make a difference some kind of way and I feel like being a labor and delivery nurse and slash midwife um, was the perfect way to do that. A lot of reasons, job security being one of them, but also just taking care of patients, it's a good feeling. Job security, it's a good field. Medical is always needed, so it's one of those options. I've, I was like, why not? I want to be able to be there for people when they need it the most. Just because I will always have a job. I can go anywhere and I can always find a job anywhere. But why do you want to be a nurse? Um, so I wanted to be a nurse because when I was young, I was in, the, in and out of the hospital and I had one, the only male nurse on the floor and he took care of me a couple of days and I was like, man, I really like this guy. So I kind of want to be like him. And here I am. I enjoy helping people. Um, I like to see people um, succeed and um, I want to see them get healthy. It's a flexible job, very great career. Uh, I love working hands-on and teaching patients and education and just helping them get better. I really need to think about this one. Right. I'm not really sure. <laughs> okay. Somebody my age, which you know I'm about to be 24, so somebody my age, around my age and older, you've already been through life, you've experienced pain and stuff like that so my whole ambition is you know I don't I don't want to see that in the younger generation they they don't really deserve that they should be able to live life so that's kind of why I'm here to help people get back out and be able to live their life without their pain. I've always felt called to give back to people and care for others. I just love helping people and I think that it's the best way to be able to serve others. I want to help out people. I had a mother who was diagnosed with cardiomyopathy when I was three months old and I saw how it affected her. But also seeing how the nurses were deeply caring for her, it inspired me to make that change in not only a patient's life but also in a family member's life. So I see myself doing that one day to make a change. I have always wanted to be something in the healthcare field. I love helping people and I like to be a compassionate and empathetic person. I think I want to be a nurse to be able to advocate for people who don't realize that they have an option in their healthcare choices. So I just want to be that voice and that person to stick up for them. My grandma was a nurse and when I was sick growing up I always wanted to call her and yeah, kind of the pathway. I want to be a nurse because, you know, I want to be in a position to help people. You know, um, if you go into specialty areas, there's not a lot of people that look like me. So, um, you know, specifically for those patients, you know, you actually get somebody that represents you, that actually gets to take care of you. I just really like taking care of people and helping people, so I always saw myself in doing a position that's like public service kind of stuff. I want to be a nurse because I'm... I'm good at it and I like other people who are nurses. <laughs> I like helping people and I have a soft spot for people of all different ages. I was a x-ray tech in the military and so I did x-rays and CTs and I really enjoyed the patient care but I wanted more hands-on and follow through care with that. <laughs> just to help everyone out. Um, I feel like I have the personality to help people and this is where I want to be. That nursing is a very intimate um, career and I think that you're doing more than just helping people like you're actually a part of their lives whether it's just for a week or a day even you make a big impact on their lives um, whether you recognize it or not so just to help people and I grew up in the medical field so it's always what I've been on I always had a passion for helping people and I think that's where I'm supposed to that's what I'm supposed to do in life so 
That's why I'm here. Um, my mom's a nurse, and I love her relationships with her patients, so that's why I want to be a nurse. I just love bringing people hope and joy when they're going through really stressful times. I don't know, I care for people. <laughs> um, I think I always wanted to find a way to give back to the community, and I think by doing this, you form a really good connection with your patients and just surrounding yourself with fun coworkers that are also like involved in healthcare and anything with science I've always liked, so let's hope we like it. <laughs> because I want to help kids. Okay. And I've always wanted to. Because it's fun. <laughs> uh, my sister was a nurse, or she is a nurse, she's two years older than me, and um, she really loved it, and I've always wanted to do it once, since I was little, and I don't know, it just makes you feel good <laughs> to help other people, so. Security. To help people, those around me, um, I've always liked helping, you know, the older, older crowds, but, you know, just helping people around me and getting them back to a better state of mind is kind of, kind of what I figured I would do. All right. I love helping people and I just feel like nursing, you're going to always be there to help someone and make someone stay better. Thank you for sticking around to the end. It means a lot to me. I worked very hard on this project. I know you guys are going to be great nurses and go off to do great big things. And I want to wish everybody the best. So, happy graduation.